What's up everybody, VHE Tutor here. Have you ever had this happen to you? You compile your map, and you look and you see this in the compile log. A leak is a hole in the map, and you're like, no! Well, I'm going to show you how to deal with those. And what I have here for you is an old map of mine that I found from 2008. It was originally supposed to be a 7 co-op map, but um, we can use it for this example. It's a small little map with some lights just placed everywhere. It's not a very well done map. I would not take inspiration from this map, but well, let's go ahead and try to compile it. It looks fine, right? It doesn't look like there'd be any problems. Everything looks good, so uh, let's see what we got. We'll compile F9. Don't run the game. And in this compile, oh, there was a problem. What problem? Ah, all right. Well, let's see what we got. We can go check the log, and we, as we can see right now, we've got um some blue and red lines going through the map now. Uh, let's check the log real quick. We go uh, look at leak tutorial. It's the name of the map. Dot log. Let's scroll down. Uh, error. A leak is a hole in the map where the inside of it is exposed to the unwanted outside region. Let me show you what a leak looks like in game. You get into game and everything is full bright. And all the lights you placed are doing nothing. So that's what a leak is. is somewhere in your map is a gap that is not quite closed. Somewhere in the map Either you have two brushes that aren't sealed quite right, or you have, let's say, a door, and you made it a funk door that is just like a placeholder, but it's a funk door and it's exposed, like say it's on the back side, you know, you can see it from both sides, that would be a leak too because it's touching the outside world. Um, so we can deal with those. And what Jackhammer has done is loaded the point file for us already, that's what these lines are, so if we, if you want to, if it didn't, automatically load for you you can go uh, map then load point file and with jack it's asking me if i want to load the default point file which happens to be leak tutorial.lan but if i said no um it would open up the maps folder and i can see oh here it is so it's loaded and what you want to look for is these red lines these red lines will indicate where the leak is so you kind of just trace it right so if we say if we started here we can trace this line all the way around until it starts getting redder and redder. So let's go in the purple area. We can see it's starting to get a little spicy around here. We can see that 13-year-old uh, me had some not too uh, clean brush practices out here, but that's okay. This is an example map. So we'll follow this and... Something right here, this kind of goes in. Oh, look at this. I just found it. So, what we need to do then, obviously there's a gap here, so we just need to close the gap. We unload this point file. Uh, we can see that this wall has a gap between the ceiling. See this one uh, unit space right here? So why don't we do two things? Why don't we bring this back and then we will bring this forward. And let's save it and see what happens. Now there's no leak, so let's see. It compiled. Perfect. We sealed the leak. Uh, and now if we run it, just to see what it would look like. And it's kind of gross because of all the lights, but um, that's how that is fixed. So, how does a leak like that happen? Right? How can you prevent it? Well, working on very small grid sizes can do that. So, um, if you're working on grid size one, for example, and you know you're creating your ceiling, like there's a lot of places. Say you're just going real quick. You know, that one landed, but like you could go real quick and not notice that it's it's just barely off or it's a hair off and you don't even notice it. Um, working with really small grid sizes will um, make that a little more easier to happen. So uh, if you try to work with grid size like eight, 
maybe even 16 when you're building walls and like basic architecture that will help clear up uh, some of those possibilities and, and we can tell that um when i made this map originally i was going on some working on grid size four because i can't even snap it to grid size eight which is not ideal so why don't we bring that up to eight and oh it's the floor we'll bring that fit it on the grid size eight and that looks much cleaner much cleaner over here is a little rough so as i was saying before there is another way to have a leak where if you have like an entity touching outside the world that will um cause problems too so why don't we add a placeholder door all right so if we do funk door um and we don't give it a name. We'll just pretend that it opens like a door does. Um, if we compile this, let's see what happens. Oh, there was a problem. So if we load the map, we'll see what happens. It opens into the void, and we will fall forever. So, as you can see, that caused a leak and we have this red line right here that is showing us where the leak is happening um because it loaded the point file for us so that is um another uh way that you could cause a leak on accident um you might not realize that you're trying that, that you have it filling the outside and so what you can do you can just have it um shortened up a little bit and fill the blank space just bring this down this down boom uh, so you want to check under so uh as we can see the floor does not extend past this would still be a leak right here so we need another block um this and then because there is the hole in the bottom, we need to fill this real quick. Um, and we can do that just by this grossly. Uh, so that's like a way to fix that. Um, you know, if we compile it, it will compile because it is now no longer exposed to the outside world. Now, of course, we don't go anywhere with it, but... Uh, and what you could do, for example, is you could just make this door, um, call it locked, because it's never going to open. Um, and we can just make the locked sound, you know, access denied or small zap, I guess. And this is a way to add a little bit of detail to your um, levels, where, you know, you have a door, say the player's never going to go in there. It at least makes a sound and acts like a door. You could do that, or you could create like a trigger multiple. You could have this just be a regular, you know, not an entity at all. You could have it just be part of the world with a trigger multiple and have it play a sound. Um, both achieve the same thing. So that's what a leak is. That's how you figure them out with the point files. You load the point file and. Well, it actually deleted it because we solved the leak. So um, this was, you know, just a quick little tutorial on how to deal with leaks, um, where they crop up and how you can fix them. So um, I do want to get out some more better tutorials. I just wanted to get something out because um, I haven't posted yet in 2022. So I hope this was useful and I'll catch you in the next one.